Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a updated uh survival kit kind of uh video today. Sorry I haven't put out a video in a long time. I recently started a new channel with some friends. It's called Commercial Hackers, capital C, um no space, capital H. Um and we put out funny commercials there. And I think I'm going to start releasing one video a month on Ultimate Survival Skills. So, let's get on to the day pack. So, I've dumped the contents out on the table. And, as you can see, a few things have changed uh, since my first video, my day pack. Uh, some things have stayed the same, a few things have changed. So, yeah, let's start. Start off, we have a life straw. I got a life straw as a present because I wanted a small water filter, and these things are straight up awesome. They are so portable and easy. They filter up to about a thousand gallons, I mean, a thousand liters. 250 gallons of water, pretty sure, and, um, so these things are great, uh, last a long time, and great backup, kind of emergency water, uh, filtration system. I got these things, um, and they're kind of like a stackable cup kind of thing, and I made them into three uh, different types of things. Uh, little kits. First one is a fishing kit. I have a repair kit. And um, this is a bug net. So I guess we'll start with the bug net. Uh, bug net. Just bought it at the dollar store. It's just a really cheap kind of bug net. Um, it's uh for up here in the north, there are so many mosquitoes in the summertime that you can't even go outside really. So this is if I lost my bug net or something, or I forgot to bring it with me on that exact occasion and I couldn't really find any small suns I mean not sunscreen bug spray and bug nets work better than bug spray anyways so I decided to use this and uh it's awesome you can use it to besides a bug net you can use it to like collect wild edibles um you can use it to like catch fish in a little creek um filter water like debris out of water, so it has a bunch of other things besides just being a bug net, so multi-purpose item. Next I have my little uh, uh, repair kit. First off I have uh, some string for t sewing up um, clothing, tents, tarps, etc. Nice to have. I got a needle for sewing up that. I've got two safety pins for holding clothing together. Uh, you know, stuff like that. I have uh, some zip ties for like holding like my tent pull together, for instance. I don't know, they're nice to have. I have some string. Uh, this can be torn apart into smaller things if I needed more sewing string. It has, um, and it could be used for other things. I do a lot of biking, so I threw in a bike patch so I can repair my tire if it goes flat. Uh, some duct tape. It's flammable, it patches up like every piece of clothing, excuse me, and uh, 
stuff like that. And a button just in case I lose a button. So that's my repair kit. Uh, this is my fishing kit uh, method of getting food. Off the top I have a um, bunch of assorted hooks and swivels and sinkers. Uh, next I have a bag filled with a bunch of fake bait and jigs and stuff. Uh, and I have a few little, uh, I, crayfish, I guess you'd say, and, uh, they are great with fish. I've caught a few, uh, like, five inch with them. Uh, some fishing line. And you might be thinking, uh... Seriously, a uh, ear plug. How does that have to do with fishing? Well, these things can be great for uh, if I leave a line out and I come back, and these things can act as uh, bobbers in still water. And you uh, take, like, for instance, the needle and stick it right through the thing, and then that will just float on the surface, and then. Um, when a fish takes the thing, like the hook, then this thing will go underwater, and you'll know. And that's my fishing kit. Next, I have a box of, I guess, little luxuries that you don't really need in the wild, but they're nice to have with you. Uh, first, I uh, didn't want to buy a big roll of... Um, the flagging tape, so I bought a dollar store 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 roll of um red kind of tape and uh can be used as the same and it's in a small uh roll uh, I have a wire saw for um obviously cutting wood but also um you know, you can make snares out of these things and uh, stuff like that. Um, this is a good quality one, uh, not a cheap one, and I it does cut wood. I have tested it out many occasions. I have a 4-in-1 uh, contraption here. First off, it's a really loud bear whistle. On the back is a thermometer. Fahrenheit and Celsius, and it's unfortunately broken. Um, I have a compass, and inside here, I uh, can't really get it out right now, but it is a magnifying glass. Um, I have a sharpening stone for sharpening my knives to give them that edge, and yeah. And also, for the sharpening stone, you can sharpen, like, fish hooks and needles on here, too. I have a sewing kit for repairing things. Uh, it's a, it has a bit better one than the, uh, uh, repair kit, so I decided to throw it in here since I had a bit extra room. And I've got a carabiner, uh, just for clipping on clothing to trees, to your backpack, uh, like gear, clothing, uh, stuff like that. And it can also be made into uh, some weapons and other stuff like that. This unfortunately isn't a camping carabiner, but I mean climbing carabiner, but uh, that's not really my big concern at this moment. Next, I have a box of, I guess, little luxuries that you don't really need in the wild, but they're nice to have with you. Uh, first, I uh, didn't want to buy a big roll of um, 
the flagging tape, so I bought a dollar store 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 roll of um red kind of tape and uh can be used as the same and it's in a small uh roll. Uh, I have a wire saw for um obviously cutting wood but also um you know you can make snares out of these things and uh stuff like that um this is a good quality one uh not a cheap one and i it does cut wood i have tested it out many occasions i have a four in one uh contraption here first off it's a really loud bear whistle on the back is a thermometer Fahrenheit and Celsius and it's unfortunately broken um, I have a compass and inside here uh, I can't really get it out right now but it is a magnifying glass um, I have a sharpening stone for sharpening my knives to give them that edge and yeah and also for the sharpening stone you can sharpen like fish hooks and needles on here and too I have a sewing kit for repairing things uh it's a it has a bit better one than the uh uh repair kit so I decided to throw it in here since I had a bit extra room and I've got a carabiner uh just for clipping on clothing to trees to your backpack uh like gear clothing uh stuff like that and it can also be made into uh some weapons and other stuff like that this unfortunately is in a camping carabiner but i mean climbing carabiner but uh that's not really my big concern at this moment Next, I have my water bottle. Uh, it's a stainless steel uh, Canadian Tire water bottle. Uh, it's uh, I chose stainless steel over plastic because this I can boil water in and anything else that I want. And I don't have a half a separate uh, bowl or something that's metal, so I chose uh, the metal one. Inside is bigger zip ties for uh, shelter and such. I've got two glow sticks for uh, like light, but also signaling. You can put them on the end of like a rope, uh, attach it to a rope, and then like swing it around if in the dark, and that will make a uh, it obvious for planes that you're there. Um, I have four uh, tent pegs, just stainless steel tent pegs. Um, these aren't really for a tent. They're for a grill. You put them in a four, uh, like two and two, kind of in a square pattern. And then you stick your thing on top of it. And then like you have a fire around and then you can cook on top of that or you can lay them like uh that and you can make it as a grill for like grilling meat and fish and vegetables that you find and if you want you can peg down tarps and last but not least in here is a orange bandana this it, i just chose orange for uh, uh, vi visibility, so uh, people can uh, see it, rather than like a black dark bandana, and uh, I, the bandana is useful for cuts, wounds, um, your hair, um, filtering water, carrying things, uh, and many more, so it's always good to have a bandana. 
Next, I have uh, first aid. Um, inside this, uh, I modified a bag so it could fit everything nicely. Uh, all you have to do is cut the bag to where you want it to. Take a pair of pliers, like hold it down with the pliers there, and then take a lighter and just sim it, singe it till it's hot, and then uh, like pretty much melt the end, and then just squish it with the pliers. First, I have uh, some Advil, so uh, for pain relief. Next, I have a uh, gauze pad kind of thing. Wait, no, this is the gauze pad and a uh, big band aid. Then I have an alcohol pad, a large alcohol pad. I've got one of those things for your foot, so you uh if you get like a uh, bad foot from walking all day then you can just use this and uh it'll help and uh a bunch of different band-aids next i have um shelter uh shelters in my mind the biggest thing that you should focus on for your survival kit because without sh shelter you'll be miserable because the elements will just get you and kill you so I uh, inside here first I have a pair of hot pads for um Obviously your hands, but you can use uh, it for so many other things. Uh, like, you can obviously use it to keep you warm, but you can stick them inside, like, uh, for instance, your boots or something. And then it'll heat the boots if you're not using them at that moment, if you have an extra pair of shoes with you. Um, you can uh, keep... Uh, things a little warmer than they already are. Um, you, yeah, there's just so many things that you can use it for. Um, and yeah. Next, I have a uh, poncho. Uh, you can also use just a big plastic bag. It's good for a poncho, keeping your gear dry. You can also stuff it to make a uh, bed or like um sitting thing uh you can use it to keep the rain off you you can make a shelter out of it endless things catching water next i have a uh, mylar tube tent it's instead of making a uh, shelter out of natural materials i'll just pop this bad boy up and uh does the trick it compresses really thin so doesn't take up too much room, and uh, you can reflect with it, and it's uh, really uh, easy and nice, uh, and it's will definitely keep the rain off you. Last but not least, I have a uh, mylar blanket. Uh, well, the inside's mylar, and the outside is uh, reflective, so you can. Uh, it can reflect the body heat uh, back at you. Uh, I'd use this one for like a blanket, say, and uh, so you can reflect the body heat back at you and also you can signal with it. So that's my shelter. Next I have uh, just kind of a bunch of different things, mainly uh, fire, but um, inside this bag I have compass, uh, just a larger one for, um, obviously navigating and knowing which way is north. I have a, uh, fire striker, uh, flint rod. Um, I've got, 
um, uh, just an LED light. Yeah. I have uh, my char tin to make uh, char cloth. I've got a little Eltoids tin, and uh, inside of it has natural material for starting fires, and as well as some uh, uh, stormproof matches. And I've got, uh, I'd say like ten feet of paracord right here. So, uh, yeah. This is mainly for the shelter, like, that's why I didn't have any paracord in the shelter compartment, but I keep it inside this one. This is my food, um, I don't have enough calories in here, or enough food for 72 hours or more, but I have, uh, another, uh, food ration kind of bag that I'd carry around with me if I was going on long hikes or uh, something and I had room that I would carry with me uh, so that's why I don't have um, as much as I uh, need um, and if you want uh, leave in the comments below if you want to see my MRE uh, kinda ration kit so let's start um, First, I have some Quaker oats, uh, kind of like breakfasty kind of uh, thing. Like I said, not enough calories for a uh, day's worth of food, but it'll at least give me uh, kind of something to build off of, and I could probably catch some fish or something if I wanted to. Uh, some Mr. Noodles. Um, great little instant noodle thing. Um, and, uh, these things would be, uh, like, great if I could find some wild edibles to add on to it. Uh, Cliff Bar. Um... Cliff bars are great because they're so small, but they carry so many calories on them. So, yeah. And my, uh, kind of, uh, I guess spice pack thing. Uh, I have some sugar, salt, pepper in here. I've got some creamer. Uh, some tea, and, uh, stuff like that. Uh, just kind of have beverages or spice up some food that might be a bit dull, like salt, pepper on fish. Uh, you'll be in heaven after you eat that. So, yeah. Just have, a. Uh, that's my food. Um, and, yeah. Hope you liked my video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment, and share with me what uh, survival kit you carry with you. Because uh, the more knowledge I get to know, it would be great.